so this is the vpc and here we are going to create two subnets and those two will be one from the public subnet and the other one will be our private subnet but as you have already seen the previous episodes we have already created that and uh, you can check out the previous videos for to know actually how we have created the subnets and here we have the public subnet which has a cider block of 10.0.32.0 slash 24 that is also having 250 ip addresses and here as well we have the private subnet this is also same 10.0.1.0 slash 24 so both of the subnets here i have 250 IP addresses so I don't think this is going to matter much because I'm going to just create one or two instances so this should be just fine so the next thing is we have to create an instance in the private subnet so how we can create that we have to go to EC2 and then we have to create the instance here so to create the instance you need to just click on launch instances here you need to choose the Linux to AMI just choose the t2.micro because this is the free tier eligible one click on configure instances and here you have to choose your own new vpc that you have created that is my vpc demo and we have to choose the private subnet so the only point that i want to make here is you have to understand the clear difference between both of them is because the public subnet even though you name it anything if it is connected to the internet gateway then it is considered to be a public subnet if the private subnet or any subnet that does not have internet access on its own then it is by logic a private subnet so here as well i can choose whether to give it a public ip address or not for now i can just enable it and uh, there are no other changes that i need to make i have selected the vpc i have selected the subnet that i want and then i can just click on add storage so this should be fine just click on add tags add tag give it a name my private zero one configure security groups here you can choose to create a new one or you can choose an existing one as well so if for the demo purpose i can just create a new one my private sg and I can give the connectivity for SSH that is the port 22 and it can be from anywhere so not a problem it does not have internet access so don't worry about it just click on review and launch launch and I think you already have this key I also have this so just click on I acknowledge that I have access to the selected private key click on launch instance that's it you should be able to get your details for the instance right now So this is the instance that I have right now. And here, as you can see, I have the public IPv4 address. As this does not have internet connection, we won't be able to connect to this from the outside world. So just to show you the same thing once again, just copy this. Go to your terminal and go to the path where you have the key. Then do just SSH of EC2 user at the rate the IP address if an I the SH key yeah this obviously won't work because there is no internet connectivity but if suppose this instance was in the public subnet and it had an internet gateway then obviously it would be able to connect but what we can do now is we can launch another instance for us in the public subnet and see whether we are able to connect to that or not so click on launch instance select ami and here i will choose my vpc but i'll choose the public subnet and i'll enable the auto assign public ip and that's it just click on add storage add tags public 01 configure security groups select an existing one yeah sure this should work for me Lunch. yeah that's it so now this is the public instance so now let's see whether we are able to connect the newly created public instance or not 
So this is the public instance that I have and it is already running. And I can just click on this copy and I'll try to connect to this. Same procedure as such ec2 user at the rate IP address or just hit enter. Yes, we are able to connect to this. And one more interesting thing is I can connect to my private instance because the main route table tells us that all the IP addresses locally within the IP side of block that is 10.0.0.0 slash 16 should be routed through the local VPC. And that is the reason why even if I try to connect to the private instance from my public instance outside, I will be able to connect to this. So how we are going to connect to this? We need the key, right? So we have to copy the key here and I'll copy the key here and I'll try to connect to the private instance. So here in the public instance, what I can do, I can go to the home folder, cd slash home slash ec2 hyphen user and here I can create a sample and here I can create the private key. So it will be ec2 hyphen key dot and then I'll just copy the content of the key that I have. I'll just copy the content of the private key that I have and I'll just press I that is the insert command and you can just control V and you can paste it colon WQ. That's it. You have the content. Now you have to change the mode for the file. Basically, we have to change the permissions to make it secure. That's it. CH mode. So yeah, we are good for now. If you do a LS if an ALTR, you should see the permissions to be secure and it should be easy to have an user, easy to have an user, the group and the user should be same. So now that we have copied the key and we have changed the permissions, now we are ready to connect to the instance. So what are you going to do? You're going to just ec2 hyphen user at the rate, copy the private IP that you have, hyphen i, the ec2 hyphen key that you have just copied. Yes, you are able to connect to the private instance from your public instance that you have because both of them are in the same VPC and the route table actually guides it within the VPC itself. There is one more thing that we had to confirm. So now this is the private instance, but we have to confirm that we don't have internet access. Otherwise it will be a big blunder because we will not get to know that whatever modification that we made by creating the NAT gateway it actually works or not. So you can just go Google, ping google.com and it will not work. So obviously it does not work because we don't have internet connectivity. So how we can resolve this? Obviously we'll add a NAT gateway to this. You see here NAT gateway. Click on NAT gateways and create a NAT gateway. So in this form you have to fill out the detail like my NAT gateway demo. So I'll give it a name and the subnet you have to choose is public because the NAT gateways should reside in the public subnet. And you have to allocate an elastic IP for that. And then you just create the NAT gateway. So it will take some time for the states to change from pending to available. You can just wait for a few minutes or a few seconds to uh, get this done. Yeah, so now it is available and you have the elastic IP address as well. So what is the next step that we wanted to do? We had to associate or we had to create a new route table. So this is the route table that we have for the internet gateway. So if you click on this one, you can see the route is being propagated to the internet gateway. And to connect to the internet from the private IPs or the private instances that we have, we need to create a route table. So I'll create one. So my route private NAT. Let's suppose we'll keep it like this. And you can just define the VPC that you have and just click on create. And what is the next thing that we wanted to have? We have to associate the NAT gateway that we have recently created, isn't it? 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, .0, 0 to the NAT gateway. So once you click on NAT, you will see the NAT ID already propagated here. If you have multiple, then choose the one that you have as per your requirement. Just click on this and save the route. 
and you must make sure that the status of the association should be an active state if suppose it is in a black hole state then you are not going to be able to connect so now you have to associate your subnet as well this is the private subnet that we have so i have to associate this with this subnet but first let's see even without association does it work or not otherwise it will be a big uh, no no for us isn't it no thank god it does not connect my theory is correct here so we have to associate the subnet here so click on edit and there's a private subnet click on this private subnet and just save so now your private subnet has been associated to this route table we have created the instances the private instances we have created the NAT gateway we have associated that in the route table for the main route table or the custom route table that you want you can create it because i have created a custom route table so don't worry about it and i have associated 0.0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 to NAT gateway id and on the public subnet i have the custom route table which is pointing every public ip address 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, .0, 0 to the internet gateway so both of this is done so now we have the instance we have the NAT gateway we have the routes populated that's it we should be able to connect to the internet from the private instance now let's see so this is the private instance 10.0.195 i'll just show you once again this is the one otherwise you might tell i cheated 10.0.195 there you go we are able to connect to the internet and if suppose this instance has to be connected to the aws services that you have like s3 or any other service you are now able to do that because you have the nat gateways with you for which you should be grateful to amazon not to me